Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, your child librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to be looking at an interesting little film. It's a Disney Pigstar thing. I think slightly before the horrid horror that is Disney that took over Pigstar completely. This is Ratatouille. So, an interesting little fun little uh, family film um, about a rat by the name of Remy who wants to be a chef. So, he likes food. He likes good food. He doesn't like garbage. He doesn't like stealing. He wants to cook. And he ends up in Paris. And prior to this, in the farmhouse that he was living at with his giant rat family, he had seen a cookbook by a former chef by the name of Gusto. So Gusto had this cookbook of anyone can cook, essentially. And he was learning to cook using the cookbook. And he ends up at the guy's restaurant under Paris. From the time, uh, it's being run by a, his uh, Gusto's sous chef by the name of Skinner, who is voiced by the late Ian Holm, who, if you're familiar with um, the Lord of the Rings, that was the actor who played Bilbo Baggins, um, who was also in The Hobbit, but nonetheless. Ian Holm is the voice, and Remy is by uh, voice by Patton Oswalt. So he's Skinner is a short, cantankerous um, chef who's essentially using Gusto's name to. You have the cookbooks, you have the image of this big jolly chef. You're selling frozen burritos, and basically it's a giant empire. And he's going to inherit all of it if there's no because there was no act biological heir. And in comes um, Languini. So he's a tall, red-haired, lanky kid who cannot cook, who essentially is Gusto's illegitimate child. And it's found out. And he tries to cook. He's brought on as I think the white, his mother had worked there. and. He's brought on kind of as a cleaning boy. And the rat helps him cook a soup that's served to a critic and she loves it. And so he has to keep up this thing. He realizes he was helped by this rat by the name of Remy, who knows how to cook. And what's interesting I remember about this film is there, why, yes, Remy technically communicates with Languini. It's not like in other films where they're the rat humans can actually understand rat language. There's a lot of nodding going on, um, so there's no why Remy can talk to other rats. He can't talk physically to humans, so he's not an anthropomorphic rat. He's just a rat who knows how to cook and apparently read. Um, but so he it, it, that, that's interesting in part of it for a Disney film. So. Essentially, they keep up this ruse, and also Skinner is trying to keep from Languini that technically he's the heir. And Remy finds out and gets this letter to Languini, along with another uh, sous chef in the um, restaurant by the name of Colette, who's voiced by Janine Garfalo, who's another. I remember her. She's definitely a product of the '80s. She's a very big comedian. Um, so she's the voice of this other French sous chef. So they find out and basically Linguini, Linguini takes over and they stop selling the frozen burritos. And Skinner is out to get him because he's pissed off. And they continue eventually um, how to cook and eventually he has to reveal to the staff that yes, he's being helped by a rat and they all leave him one night and with the help of Remy they bring in basically a whole bunch of rats to help cook that night and they're that's also the night they have this very stuck up very very French um critic by the name of um Anton Ego I believe that's the name of the character. Yes. 
and so they have to impress this chef. Now, meanwhile, Skinner has realized there's a rat in there, so he's he's pretty much called the health inspector, and they lock the health inspector in the fridge. And then they Skinner has decided to come to the restaurant and order the same thing this hard to please critic has. So now Colette also shows up because everybody else is left. She turns around, she comes back, and she communicates with Rennie. It's like, what do you want to cook? Well, ratatouille. And she's like, a peasant dish? It's like, yeah. So she works with Remy the rat, and they cook up ratatouille a very specific way. I think I read on the IMDb page that it is an actual recipe, and it would take like four hours to make. <laughs> so it's a very unique w twist on ratatouille, which is a vegetable, mostly a vegetable, sliced vegetable dish. So in this case, I believe it's baked, uh, this version anyway. I think the rest of it's boiled. But nonetheless, they serve it to Anton Ego, and he has a flashback to his childhood. So he loves it. But of course, then, then of course, Skinner also kind of enjoys it as well. But then he goes into the kitchen and realizes who's cooking for you and rats, and they lock him in the fridge. But then they have to reveal to Skinner, or not Skinner, but Anton Ego, that yeah, it was a rat who taught him how to cook. And he's quiet, and he listens, and he doesn't say anything. He seems to obviously believe them. He seems to he interacts with the rat. He leaves and writes this kind of wonderful review. However, um, the happily ever after is Gusto's is shut down because again, they can't, as they say, it's like we can't really keep the inspector locked up forever. And once there are rats, yeah, nobody's gonna come to the restaurant. But uh, Linguini, of course, cannot cook. But they, oh, he basically, he's still inherited all his father's money. So he still has a sizable amount. So he invests in a little bistro called Ratatouille, where, yes, the rat is cooking and Colette is helping. And Anton Ego is still basically pleased with this. So it's a tiny little, so it ends with this happy ending of this tiny little bistro, Ratatouille, rather than the giant empire. Uh, Languini is, as he was the night of the last night they had at Gusto's, he is basically a, he's the kind of the head waiter, and he was good at that. And the kitchen, again, has both humans and somehow taking possibly just instructions from the rat or possibly Colette, which would possibly be something. And then they're serving rats on the ceiling, on the roof. So you have a whole rat, rat restaurant on top that I'm assuming nobody knows about because they never enter the actual kitchen. So that is this little story. It's very, very cute. Um, it's very, very fun. It's very, very family friendly. Um, it, nostalgic for Paris, of which I've never been. Not sure it's high on our list, but very, very food centric. Apparently this was a favorite film of the late uh, Anthony Bourdain, who was a fantastic chef. He says they get, because they very much focus on the smell of food, the taste of food, the combination of food, and how this rat has fallen in love with creating food and the slight insanity of kitchens. And I have a cat climbing up here. Hi, Kendra. But again, it's a fun family film. Cats. Cats have nothing to do with cooking or rats. Um, Kendra has decided to join us here. She's 12 and occasionally cranky and mine. Um, but back to the film. It's very, very family friendly. It's very, very fun. Yes, it's Disney. Yes, I detest Disney, but it's not going away. And it's, well, it's not going away. It's Disney. Uh, it's been around for a very long time. It's not going to go away. And I was looking for films that are food focused. And this is one of the ones I could find. There's not a lot of films that are food focused. Um, so, but again, it's a fun, well done film focused on a very interesting dish in a rat and it's it's entertaining um trying to think yeah the teenagers might not mind this there's a little bit of love story between Languini and Colette uh not much but there's a lot of rats there's a lot of food it's fun um it's if you're looking for something to talk introduce cooking to your kids particularly in like my homeschooling crowd here which is what this channel is kind of focused on great film to do a little bit of Paris mindly you just kind of see the Eiffel Tower in this city 
um, kind of thing. Uh, besides, you know, there's a whole chase scene where the rat is running from Skinner trying to essentially keep away this paperwork and this will away from Skinner because, again, he wants everything. And he's very, very short. Skinner is very, yes, he, he they play on the Napoleon complex, which no, Napoleon was not actually short. It was a different thing. But again, it, they play on the little black, little uh, Napoleon complex because Skinner is very, very short and very temperamental and doesn't seem to actually cook anything. In the entire film, you don't see him actually cooking anything. He's just hiding in the office, complaining. Um, and rubbing his hands of him's going to he's going to inherit this huge empire. So there's not actually much to it. it. I did not go into this expecting to like this film, and I did. So it's definitely something I would show to my kids. Um, very fun. There's really no age limit on this one. So little kids, big kids. I think this is rated PG. I'll pull up the IMBD page and look at do a quick look on what this is rated. Um, no, this is G. So, pretty much as low a rating of kids' film as you could get, it's a G. So, nothing major besides, you know, chasing around rats and showing of dead rats and a woman shooting off a shotgun in the beginning of the film um, because rats. But again, very, very fun, uh, entertaining film. Highly recommend it as much as I dislike Disney. So, that's it for this review. Uh, if you like what you see, be sure to check out the rest of my channel. Um, I do a bunch of stuff, tons of children's books. Um, I do do some teen stuff, do some uh, 13 plus films, trying to think. Uh, I maybe throw in an R film once in a while, but it's only for educational purposes. Uh, so nothing scary, I'm not big on scary. Uh, so I think the only R film I have currently, there's a couple just because one of them's a uh, couple of them are historical based. So they have a tendency to have more advanced stuff. But again, those are few and far between. The rest of the stuff is kid friendly. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of my channel again. Like and subscribe. I have a bunch of educational stuff, a bunch of tons of book reviews, a sprinkling of uh, homeschooling stuff. We are a secular, non religious homeschooling family. And then I have a few travel videos, hopefully, to get more. But this is being filmed in September of 2021. So COVID-19 kind of going on. Uh, not traveling as much as we would like, and I have a two-year-old, so it varies. So hoping to add more of that. So again, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you.